Hey everyone, and welcome back to another chill Sunday afternoon After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be going over this shot here from the recent CK Productions video, Mario Kart Logic in Real Life. Now last week I posted a full VFX breakdown video of this video, and I included this shot in that breakdown, but I wanted to actually go into After Effects and really go through all the layers here and build it from scratch to show you guys the formula of how we pretty much brought a lot of these shots together because basically this shot here follows the formula for a lot of the shots that were done in that video. And if you're new to the channel, if you have no idea what I'm talking about here, my name is Brian and I do this behind the scenes channel here for a channel called CK Productions, which I co-own where we do a lot of video game related short films, comedic skits and stuff like that. And on this channel, I do a lot of filmmaking tutorials, gear reviews, VFX breakdowns, a lot of fun stuff like that. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, be sure to smash that like button down below. It helps out a lot and subscribe for two videos a week. So let's go ahead and uh, start this clip from scratch here. So I'm going to start off by importing my background clip here. This was a shot on my camera on the stabilizer going through uh, the hallway here going through the little, little cat tunnel there, Mooney's little cat tunnel. Um, I actually have Mooney next to me right here in the... I'm recording this in my closet to help uh, with sound. And Mooney decided to join me in the closet here, right Mooney? Yeah. So we have this shot here. And for these shots, I like to add a little bit of camera blur in the background because this is going to end up being the background of the shot because um, Mario is going to be the one that's actually in focus here in the front. All right, so we have this green screenshot of Joe. We just did a whole, uh, you know, long shot of him doing a bunch of different reactions close up on the green screen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use key light for this to get rid of that green screen. And if you've seen my videos in the past, you might have noticed my uh, my green screen tutorial that I did a couple years ago where I broke down all the steps that I did for making an actual green screen shot. You're going to get a behind the behind the scenes look here. You go ahead and you get an eyedropper for the green color there and it takes it all the way but it doesn't actually take it all away um, a good way to see what's been taken out of the shot is you go ahead and change this to combine matte here change this to black and white black is stuff that's taken away white is stuff that stays and we go into clip black here to just get rid of the rest of the kind of the uh, remaining white graininess here and we go to clip white here to get rid of the remaining black graininess here until we have something where all the black, all the black, <laughs> black round, all the background is black and all of the foreground here is white. Bring it back to final result here. And what I like to do in a lot of my green screen shots, I like to shrink it down a little bit. That helps take away some of the green edge glow that we have. And I like to create a little bit of screen softness so it's not too sharp on the corners. And that's gonna help with a couple steps later. There we go. That's basically the, uh, the simple key light process that we do for all these shots and because they're they're uh, lit very well and there's no shadows or anything it makes it a pretty easy key light um, obviously we need to get rid of the, the corner of the green screen here so we're going to supplement that with a mask and just crop that out there and there we go when I did a lot for uh, the clips that are in the foreground here the green screen clips when I shot them they were done with a little bit more lighting so they have a little bit more inherent contrast with them. So I go ahead and I kind of dip down that contrast a little bit to, to kind of have it match a little bit more with the background in terms of kind of brightness and contrast. That looks a little more accurate there. All right, so we have this here, but obviously something is missing. He's not driving on his own. He's driving with the go-kart. All right, so I have my uh, my video here of the, the go-kart, just a still shot of the go-kart on the green screen here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same process here i'm going to key light it because also key light can work for blue screens as well it's a nice flat blue screen so it all kind of went away pretty fast i'm just going to do some minor adjustments here to make sure everything is keyed out bring it back to final screen soften screen shrink like we did for the other one and now what we're going to do is going to jump in here and I'm going to have to rotoscope or crop out the rest of the cart here. All right, so we have our cutout of our cart here. So now we need to place it behind Mr. Mario here. Scale it up to a point where it looks realistic that he's sitting on there. 
And there you go. Voila. It's done. The movie's finished. Yay! One thing we need to check out, though, is uh, Joe does a lot of rocking back and forth here. So we're going to want to change the position of this Mario Kart here to... Ah, to... What did I do? That was weird. Uh, to match up with Joseph here. So gonna start at a point where he's actually it actually fits when he's uh, in the cart here I'm going to do some position keyframes and so whenever he moves over we're gonna move the cart with it and we're gonna do a little easy easy ease here so it moves nice and smoothly oh you're back hey Mooney why are you attacking the wall he's such a weird cat so moving over here checking in with the position it looks like it wanted to make sure it's kind of it looks like it's kind of locked to him All right, so that's about good for that a couple other things we want to add to this shot here. We want to add some cool Flames in the background coming out of these little pipes here But what we want to do before that is we want to put these guys in a pre-comp gonna put Mario and his cart in a pre-comp layer. I'm gonna call it Mario Kart. And it's in a pre-comp layer there. So these guys are now grouped together. That's fun. Jumping into this pre-comp here, this is where we're gonna to wanna to add our fire and our glow. Let's grab our little fires. I believe it's called a torch windy. There's a little fire here. I'm gonna shrink that down and place it on our guy. I'm gonna Move the anchor point to the bottom here because that's where it coincides with the little pipe here. Gonna make it kind of small. We don't want it to be overpowering. And so one thing we need to do, obviously, is it's just kind of floating there by itself. We need to animate it along with the cart moving. And rather than having to uh, reanimate and add its own keyframes, we can just do a parent. So it'll be parented to the cart there. That's fun. So it's moving on its own. Like often in visual effects, we want to add motion blur in there since the uh, the clip itself has a motion blur. So we have it on here, but it looks a little bit too pasted on there. It doesn't actually look like it's blended in the scene. So let's change a couple things. One, let's put it on screen mode. You're not going to notice a difference right now, but you'll notice it. I get kind of notice a difference. You'll, you'll notice it when it's blended back into the scene. Let's go and add some glow to it as well to make it little, look a little less defined a little brighter another I added another glow to it and we'll make this glow a little bit more wider it's a little too sharp I'd say so we're gonna add a little bit of just slight camera blur to it there and there we go we have our little flame there and obviously we need two little flames so let's duplicate it and push the other one over on this side we don't want them to look exactly the same, so we're just gonna bump this over a little bit. That's a problem. Look, the flame is going over Mario's head, so we wanna make sure these are layered all the way in the back, uh, not quite all the way in the back, behind Mario and on top of the Mario Kart. Cool, 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 cool. Something we wanna do is we wanna add some glow, some optical flares here on the ends of these pipes because glows are cool. Everyone likes glows, everyone loves optical flares. So I wanna add in optical flares. This is a plugin from Video Copilot. You know, there's multiple ways to do this if you ever wanted to do exactly what I did on your own. You can uh, do it with, you know, kind of the built-in lens flares or any other lens flare packs or anything. I'm gonna build a natural kind of lens flare here. Just gonna add a simple glow here. And I'm gonna obviously change the color to more of that kind of orange fiery color on transparent and always 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 put your flares on screen or add mode so i'm going to put the flare here it's a little too bright so i'm going to scale it down a wee bit a wee bit and then add a nice box blur fast box blur is a good effect to do on your flares to make them a little less defined a little bit more blendy into the sea. I'm going to make this a little bit more yellow because the fire looks a little bit more yellow right now. So right about there. You can see now you have kind of that glow coming off the pipe there. Obviously what we're going to do here is we're going to have to uh, do a position keyframe here. But 
An issue we're to have is we can't parent it because um, it's an optical flare and, it's, and the position is built into the uh, effect here. So we're just gonna have to just do our own keyframes here. Lame. And there we go, that's that's a Mario. Oh, that that's a Mario. He's all done. So let's go ahead and uh, jump back into our main comp here. He's running around, doing his little thing. One thing I want to add here is I want to add a little bit of camera shake here from the uh, from the movement of the cart. So I'm going to do a little bit of a wiggle wiggle position here, and don't want to do anything crazy. So I want to put the wiggle mount kind of low, but the frequency at moderately high. He's uh, it's shaking a little bit there, but it's not shaking too much. If you'd watched my old green screen video, you're gonna know an important step of doing green screen is doing the light wrap. So I'm going to pre-comp the background here. I'm gonna duplicate the background and put it on top. So what the light wrap does, basically it's a combination of effects here that I'm going to add. And what that's gonna do is that is going to add a little bit of the background onto the edge of the subject here to make it just blend in just slightly more. So add a bunch of uh, different effects here. I'm gonna do Gaussian blur, set matte, channel blur, and another set matte. I can't tell you the actual science of how this works, but if you just do it, it works. So add our set mats here to, this is why we uh, pre-composed this. Actually, you know what, we should make this into a separate composition too because the wiggle effect that we added on there is going to mess up this effect if we keep it on there we'll always move attributes to a new composition cool so if we go ahead and we set these set mats to uh, a mario kart guy oh that's that's exactly what we wanted right that's perfect kidding so go ahead and we hit invert to the first one i don't know why it's just that's how it works and then we move up these blurriness a little bit and we move up this alpha blurriness a little bit and you'll see it more here. You see, um, if we solo this, you see the edges that it's making there. And it's just, it's just making a little bit of those edges on the edge of the subject as well. And a good way to blend this in here is to just make it a screen layer. There we go. Now we're really seeing the edges there. You see that, uh, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. That's what we were looking for. Just something simple and subtle like that. And that's basically what we have here. The final things that we're gonna add, you know, just simple things like the dust in the background. We can add a dust element. I typically make these dust elements, they come very brown. So I'm gonna make them uh, more desaturated here. And I make them pretty, uh, pretty transparent. That's a little bit of a uh, realistic dust that looks like it's coming out of the uh, the uh, cart here. So that's about it. This was the formula that we took for all of the um, shots that we did for this video. For pretty much all the shots that we did for this video, pretty much all the shots that had close-ups or, or behind the shoulder kind of uh, shots here, what we would end up doing in the end is adding some color correction over the entire thing because it's, it's shot in log picture style. Um, I did this in DaVinci Resolve, but you can easily do this in Lumetri Color here in After Effects or in Premiere. You make this nice contrast here, add that contrast back in. It's looking a little yellow right now, so we'll uh, take the warmth out a little bit, add a bit of blue, add a little bit, looking a little green, so we'll add a little bit of uh, magenta in there. and bump up the this saturation of it so we want to see a lot of that nice uh oh that's not right a lot of that nice 10-bit color obviously i would take a little bit more time to uh finesse a lot of these colors but that's basically it that's the sequence that we use to make the shots in this film and so if you found this tutorial interesting go ahead and smash that like button down below it helps out a lot and if you're interested in more tutorials like this or any other types of VFX breakdowns, behind the scenes videos, filmmaking topics and stuff like that, go ahead and subscribe down below. I post videos twice a week, most of the time. If not, I at least try to do once a week. And there's also videos that we post on my main channel, CK Productions. 
as well. And if you follow that channel, you'll be able to follow a lot of the uh, behind the scenes VFX breakdowns that I end up doing here. Cause I do a lot of VFX breakdowns based on the videos that are released on that channel there. Lastly, comment down below if there's any other uh, questions you have about this effect or any other effects that we've done in the past or effects that you wanna see done in the future. With that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.